the nation's capital, this building houses some important artifacts in a new lab. It's our history. It's the history of the United States. An organization that you may not guess has the second largest archaeological collection in the U.S. The Corps has more material than anybody in the United States except for the Smithsonian, uh, which is always a uh, shock to everybody. When you start digging big holes in the grounds for reservoirs, you create a lot of archaeological material. Taking care of that material is a big job, which is also creating jobs for former military. I came back and, uh, from Iraq where I served for three years, and these men and women had uh, guarded me. They had kept me and 30 people I worked with over there alive when we were doing forensic archaeology overseas. And I wanted to try to pay them back. Uh, if someone keeps you alive for three years straight and you live with them and you're around them all the time and you eat with them and hang out with them, you really develop a bond that you, you have the rest of your life. Uh, you have two needs. You have a need to take care of the collections that belong to the United States Army Corps of Engineers and you have a need to take care of the veterans. You want to help them. Why don't you put those two needs together? And with $3.5 million in American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding, the Veterans Curation Project has three labs, one in Augusta, Georgia, one in St. Louis, Missouri, and here in Washington, D.C. I like it. It's good. You're learning a lot of different skill sets. We all rotate around into photography on the other side, inputting data. Uh, we also do information with the maps and the records management. These temporary jobs provide technical training and help to start on a new career path. They're going to have reps come in from the Veterans Affairs to help us with this process and building a resume and doing uh, job interview skills. Oh, the job is great. It's a, an incredible opportunity. In my experience, this is probably one of the best veterans programs I've seen or heard of. Mary Cochran, Washington.